The city was cold, the air was bitter, snow fell silently. It was New Year's Eve, the last day of the year was ending. Darkness had fallen, people hurried home, they were eager for warmth and celebration. But not everyone had a home, not everyone had warmth waiting. A young girl walked the streets, she was alone. She was lost in the icy city. The little match girl was small and very cold. Her ragged clothes offered little protection. She shivered. She needed warmth. She needed shelter. The little girl's tiny feet were bare. She had lost her slippers. They were much too big for her, her mother's old slippers. She had lost one slipper early in the evening. It happened as she ran across a busy road. A carriage had almost trampled her. The other slipper was gone too. She didn't know when or where she lost it. Now her feet were numb from the cold. Each step was painful. She clutched a bundle of matches. Her father had told her to sell them. Don't come back without selling them all, he had warned. The little match girl tried to sell her matches. Matches, matches, buy my matches, she called out weakly. But no one stopped. No one listened. People rushed past. They were busy with their own lives. Their thoughts were on warm homes and festive meals. No one paid attention to the little girl. The light from shop windows spilled onto the snowy streets. They showcased delicious food and warm clothes. The little match girl's stomach rumbled with hunger. She felt a tear roll down her cheek. It froze on her face. She was so cold, so tired, so hungry. Section four, fleeting warmth of imagined delights. The little match girl huddled in a doorway. She was desperate for warmth. She pulled out a match. She struck it against the wall. The match flared. A bright light filled the doorway. The little girl closed her eyes. When she opened them, she saw a vision. A beautiful iron stove stood before her. Flames danced behind its little mica windows. She could almost feel the heat, but the match burned out. The vision vanished. The little girl was left in the cold darkness. She struck another match. This time, she saw a table laden with food. A roasted goose sat on a platter. Plump sausages and sweet cakes surrounded it. But the match died. The feast disappeared. Section 5. A reunion in the gentle light. The little match girl struck another match. This time she saw a magnificent Christmas tree. It shimmered with candles and sparkled with ornaments. But again, the light faded. The Christmas tree vanished. She struck one final match. This time the light seemed different. It was soft and warm, and in the light she saw her grandmother. Her grandmother had been so kind, so loving. She had died a year ago. The little girl missed her terribly. Grandmother, she cried out. Her grandmother smiled down at her. She reached out her hand. Section six, a peaceful sleep under the stars. Come with me, my child, her grandmother whispered. The little girl felt happy. She wouldn't be alone anymore. She reached for her grandmother's hand. Together they floated up higher and higher into the night sky. They left behind the cold, the hunger, the pain. The little match girl felt warm and safe in her grandmother's arms. The next morning people found the little match girl. She lay in the doorway, covered in snow. A smile rested on her face. Empty matchsticks lay scattered around her. She was trying to warm herself, they said. They shook their heads sadly. They didn't understand. They didn't know about the beautiful visions. They didn't know she was with her grandmother. The little match girl was no longer cold. She was finally home.